Hello everybody, Coach Morrow here again. Let's do a quick video on how to be posting at the net for you to cover the best you can. Mostly in doubles, guys. You know, it feels bad to be out there with your partner and the ball goes past you and you feel like it was your fault. Nobody likes that. And I feel that, you know, a lot of times we get passed just because we're not really in a good ready position to cover laterally the whole part of the court that we're responsible for. And uh, I want to talk about that in terms of the feet and leg position. And also, I'm going to take advantage of this opportunity to complete my philosophy on playing well at the net and uh, tell you guys how I feel we should go about when it comes to the upper body. So here we go, let's divide it in two here, the lower body and the upper body. The lower body is very important, of course, for you to be agile with your legs to be able to cover laterally if the guy tries to pass you. If you just stand here like this, yeah, you only got the range, you know, of how far your arm can, can reach. Now, we all know that it's important to split step at the net when your opponent hits, therefore you have a little bit more agility to move, not just to get out of the way of the ball, also to reach for it. But it's important, too, to have your knees bent when you split step. Just splitting step and being standing up here is not good enough because to, to dive laterally here, let's say to, to lunge over to the side, you need to have the knee bent to push off. So why not have the knee bent to begin with? That way, if the guy hits or the girl hits the ball out of your range, you can easily lunge over there and protect your court better. The analogy is like if I was a soccer goalie. The soccer goalie, when it comes to the penalty kick, for example, he doesn't just stand there even on his toes, he bends his knees. So he can jump to the corner of the goal close to the post to try to defend that ball. So I always tell my students, from the waist down, if you wanna play well at the net, you wanna be like a goalie. And all goalies always are, are bent on their knees so they can use the legs to spring to the side. And from the waist up, to complement my philosophy here, I always tell people, look, if you have the racket close to you, your tendency is going to be to open the racket to the side here and hit your volleys late. Also, your maneuverability here, your, 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 your skill level with the racket is a lot, is a lot, you know, compromised here by you being almost like if you're in a straight jacket tight here, you know, with the racket close to you. And when you have the racket away from you here, you have the freedom to have your skill your, your blossom, you know, you can move the racket much better. So, uh, and the example here would be like, let's say like a fencer, you know, uh, when you have a sword in your hand, you would go fencing like this, and not like this. If your opponent sees you with a, with a sword with close to your body, like he's probably gonna laugh at you because it doesn't feel threatened at all. But if you have the sword out here, oh, then your opponent, of course, would feel threatened by that instrument right here in his face. Plus you have all this freedom to maneuver your racket. So here's the philosophy, guys. From the waist down, be a goalie. From the waist up, be a fencer. Let's go with a more popular term than fencer. And I've used musketeers, but the one I really like is Zorro. My idol Zorro, you know, Zorro was really good with a sword. So if you want to play net, well with the net, be a goalie Zorro. We're a Zorro goalie. That's the idea. If you got the racket away from you and your legs or as if you were a goalie protecting laterally, you'll be a lot harder to pass and you're gonna volley much better and feel a lot more comfortable at the net. All right, guys, go out there and try. Goalie Zorro, guys. Cheers, it's a wrap. Coach Morrow signing off. I'll see you next video. Take care, bye-bye.